Yes. Homeland Security will oversee the intelligence investigation into Hassan. First results are due back by November 30th. And today we got a glimpse at where Hassan lived, a small apartment unit in Killeen. And KXAN's Carla Castaño takes us inside. Major Hassan has lived in this apartment since July. Some of his items, including this prayer mat, an unusually large paper and DVD shredder, and some military garb are still here. His apartment manager tells me that Thursday evening investigators came in and thoroughly searched the place. Another apartment neighbor tells me that just a day before the massive shootings, he gave her several personal items. He's been a nice person. Looking inside the 400 square foot one bedroom apartment, there are few things left. An American College of Psychiatrics examination booklet, medical paperwork, his business cards, coins from around the world, a dreams and interpretations book, and an alarm clock. But looking back, neighbors say one thing suspicious stands out. Hassan dumped at least two large garbage bags of shredded papers in the apartment complex garbage on Wednesday. The same dumpster FBI agents hauled away. Just a few yards from that dumpster, a memorial has been erected with candles, 13 flags, roses, and photos of 12 of the 13 deceased. A constant reminder for neighbors. Really, it was scary to see him, you know, a lot. He could have freaked out, I guess, any second and killed us. The Casa del Norte apartment manager says she doesn't know how long it will be before the apartment is cleared out, but they will be contacting Major Hassan's family members to see if they want to pick up some of his personal belongings. Reporting in Colleen, Carla Gastano, KXAN, Austin News. The body of Fort Hood shooting victim Michael Pearson arrived in Chicago this morning. Patriot Guard riders.